So I am just about to rewatch Peter Pan so that I can do a movie to book comparison. And the layout of the video will be, I'm going to do two things that I thought were similar to the book, two things that were very different to how the book portrayed it, and then pros of the book and pros of the movie, and then overall give a final rate on which one I preferred. It's the only way I think I could do it without the video being like an hour long comparing everything. I'm also going to try my hardest to avoid the spoilers, but they may come up, but I will give you a clear indication should it come up. Okay, I will see you after I've watched the video. A few moments later. Okay, so I watched Peter Pan, and as I said, I'm going to be doing two similarities, two differences, and then two pros of both book and film, and then overall giving my views on it. So just to start, to give you a bit more information, the original Peter Pan was published as a play in 1904, which is why I've been saying 1904 for the entire time. Turns out the story itself was actually published in 1911. And that was published by J.M. Barry. I am comparing the book to the Disney version, which was released in... when? It was released in 1953. And yeah, I'm going to be comparing them two, and we'll see how this goes. So for my two similarities, I am going to focus on some things that I found were in the book. It was very hard to find similarities. There was nothing of any substance that was similar a lot of the main scenes were different for a lot of reasons and i feel as though these are very weak similarities to be honest so one of the similarities is the scene in the cave if you've read the book if you've watched the film you know the scene the scene where the pirates are taking tiger lily to the cave to try and find out where peter pan is and peter pan and wendy go to the cave uh, Pan pretends to be Captain Hook, uses his voice, disguises it as Captain Hook's voice to convince to convince me and another pirate who is not actually in the film to release Tiger Lily and be on the merry way. And that scene was in the film and I really like that scene actually. I don't know why, but I really like that scene and I like the confrontation because I think it was, as far as I'm aware, it was the first real face-to-face -face confrontation of Hook and Peter Pan, and I like that. I really did like it. Um, the film was still different to the book version of the scene, but the scene overall, in both movie and in, and in the book, I, I love them both. I really do enjoy it. I thought they were both great scenes. Despite the fact that they were different, they were both there, therefore I've put it as a similarity. As I said, very weak, but... There were very few similarities that I could say. So the second similarity is the relationship between Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. I really love the Lost Boys and Peter's relationship. I think they see him so much as a father or an older brother or someone in a position of authority over them and they treat him with so much respect and instantly the Lost Boys do the same with Wendy who they see as the mother and the respect for Everybody there is so strong and so much and the Lost Boys and Peter's relationship You You had to put the work in to get that to come across from book to movie and and it, it did it worked It worked well. So now it is time for the differences and there was loads I had to whittle it down to which two I felt were the most prominent and That was difficult, but I have them so the first difference, and it came very early on in the book, I wouldn't class it as a spoiler. Maybe. It's a very weak spoiler, it doesn't ruin anything. But at the start of the book, it says that Mrs. Darling, Wendy, John Michael's mother, is the one that finds Peter's shadow, and for safekeeping she puts it in the drawer, and things like that. And in the film, Wendy finds it. Wendy keeps it in the drawer, and Mrs. Darling doesn't have any sort of belief that Peter ever existed. In the book, it's made pretty clear she believes in Peter Pan. It's just, it might be just a story to her, but she she believes in that story and she believes in the childish fun of it. Where in the book, she's just very... As an adult, I suppose, she just ignores it. It's not really real to her. And I think the, the, the parents, the darling parents, are some of the main differences. And I... 
I don't like it. I didn't like that they was oblivious to everything. In the book, they return home and see that the children are gone. Doesn't happen in the film. They're oblivious to the fact that the children ever left. And I, I didn't like how that worked. I didn't like the difference. I think... I suppose it worked being a children's film that the parents weren't aware of that. Avoid all the trauma and things like that. But in the book, it added a high stake. It really did. And I preferred it. So the second difference, and I don't know where I stand with it, is that this is a spoiler. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Okay, I will put a link in the description to where you need to go to avoid this spoiler. If you've not read the book or if you've not seen the film, don't watch this bit. Okay, now I'm back. So, the second difference. Tinkerbell didn't betray Peter in the book. And I don't know where I stand. I really don't. The fact that she didn't betray him, she just heard Hook's plan and knew that there was poison and drank the poison to protect Peter and almost died that way. Wow, that was emotional on so many levels because she was madly in love with Peter despite being a fairy. She was madly in love with Peter and she near enough gave up her life for him and that is amazing and that was beautiful and that was it, it really drove home the connection those two had whereas in the film she betrayed him she was angry she wanted to get rid of Wendy she made Hook promise that he wouldn't hurt Peter if she gave him Wendy but in the end she still betrayed him it it might she might not have sent Peter to his death, but she betrayed Peter by giving up Wendy and giving up their hiding spot. And also in the film, which I didn't really like as much, is that it was a bomb. Bit dramatic. Wasn't poison, wasn't just casual. No, bit, bit dramatic. It was a bomb. So, weren't a big fan of that. But I did like the sacrifice. The fact that she realised she'd done wrong. She sacrificed her life to make it right. I really like that. But. <laughs> I'm very. I'm very unsure of where I stand. Because I feel like. The film also made it as though. Potentially Tinkerbell only went to save Peter. Not because she loved him. Like that was evident in the book. But because she felt guilty. That she betrayed him. Where do you stand? Where do you stand with that? Do you want to see Tinkerbell risk her life because she loves this boy or because she betrayed the boy and she wants to make it up to him? Like where? Which which was better? I don't I I couldn't tell you which one I preferred, to be honest. I preferred that she didn't betray him, but I liked the self-sacrifice. But I didn't like that her motivation was obscured. So I don't know where I stand with that one. Okay, two pros of the book. Now, the pro of the book is just Peter. Peter in general. His character, his whole demeanour. He was amazing in the book. I honestly don't know how else to explain it. He was childish and he was young and free-spirited and kind-hearted, but also rough and ready because he'd not had that female touch and that mother caring for him so he was just a rough naughty childish bratty little boy and it it was perfect it was written so well and it was done so correctly and you you believe that he'd never had a mother in his life and it worked so well so that was my favorite part well my favorite characterization in the book 100% now, my second pro of the book, which I've mentioned in everything that I mentioned Peter Pan in, the ending. You cannot be how Peter Pan ended. You just can't. I don't want to give spoilers for the end, so I'm really going to avoid that. But the film ending was nothing in comparison. Honestly, it, it worked well. The film ending was fine. But the way the book did it was so true to the story. It was true to Peter. It was true to Wendy. It was true to everybody. 
and it really it brought it together in such a perfect way it closed the book off perfectly the ending was by far the best part of the book because it ended perfectly so that is my biggest pro of the book my biggest pro the ending was phenomenal i can honestly tell you if you need something where you think that is gonna i need a good ending go for that honestly i would recommend reading this book for the ending alone now two pros of the film mm. again i've mentioned before i don't like the film of peter pan so i did find it quite difficult i really found it difficult and i've realized that the pros that i've written down for the film are characters character developments are just the characters personalities as opposed to plot points of the film because I really didn't like the movie. So Tinkerbell, I love her. I love her nature. I love how she was portrayed in the film. I think she was portrayed quite equally, book and film to be honest. But I think the film really brought her to life. It, it really created something else. It took us to the next level. It showed us what she was like. And I just, I love her character. She's the perfect combination of horrible but lovable. She really is. She's a horrible, horrible person. Well, fairy. She's a horrible, horrible fairy. She tries to murder Wendy. She, well, in the film, I'm going to cut that out. In the film and the book, she does things. She does things that you just think, any other character, not forgivable. Her, eh, I'll give her a, I'll give her a pass. I like her. <laughs> And she, she is a fantastic character. And I don't really know what else to say about that, really. She's amazing. And my second, my second pro of the film, and I've mentioned this before, the pirates. I love the pirates so much. I, I still laugh. I love all Disney movies. Honestly, I do. And I still laugh at them. I still sing along. But the pirates had me in tears laughing. And I think that's what I like about it. They're not just the evil, stereotypical, horrible pirates. You're well aware that they are the villains. You don't want them to win, but you love them. You don't want anything to happen to them. Mr. Smee. I love Mr. Smee. I love the idea of a bumbling idiot being a villain. I've always loved that, especially in movies. Um, books, not so much, but it worked for the film. And that was probably my favourite part of the film. The relationship between Hook and Smee. Smee's character in general... And Hook was just very likeable, despite the fact that he was evil, and that really worked. So, best points of the movie, the characters. Also, as a little side note, I couldn't really write it down because I didn't know where to put it. The Darlings are not actually that bad in the film. I've mentioned in the book, hate them, cannot stand any of the three, especially Wendy, I hate her. Film, they're okay, they're very middle of the pack, but I don't dislike them as much, so... So, my overall ratings, I would give Book an 8 out of 10. I think the storyline of the book, some of the characters, I think it was a very solid 7. It was, it was good, it was well above average, but it wasn't great. And then the ending happened, so I had to bump it up. I had to. There was no other option. So, 8 out of 10 for me. I really did like the book. It was fantastic. Film. Mm. Now I've said, I like the characters, there were good points of the film. Watching it again, really, after reading the book actually, renewed a few things in me. It made me appreciate and understand things more, because the, some things were done because it was similar in the film. Some things were very different, and it really allowed me to compare it, especially seeing things that I weren't a big fan of in the book that was quite good in the film. So overall, I decided to give the film a six. I think the film it was better than I remembered it. It was still above average, but not much above average. Really, I said the only saving graces in it really were the characters, the pirates, Tinkerbell. Not really that much else. Again, potentially the self-sacrifice of a certain character that you won't know about should you should you skip my uh, my difference. So, overall, book, 8 out of 10. Film, 6 out of 10. The winner is the book. The book was far superior, I think. Basically just for the ending, but the characters for... 
for many reasons, to be honest. It it was much better. It was much it was it was so well done, the book. I really enjoyed it, and I don't really know what else to say about it. Clear winner for me. There we go. So, book wins. Film did not. So one nil to books. If you have any other books you would like me to do a comparison for the movie with, then please let me know. But in the meantime, subscribe. Click the subscribe button down there. Make sure you ring the bell so that you always get notified when I post. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Thank you.